Sheila Fogarty on LBC. The more I apply the idea of involving your spouse directly in your working life uh, for some reason, your spouse or partner, the more... The, when I apply it to my own working life, it's bizarre. The idea of doing it is bizarre. And yet we take it for granted in politics to a degree, don't we? Let's talk to Nevena Bridgen, uh, founder of the Wives of Westminster. Her husband is the MP, Andrew Bridgen. Uh, she herself is an opera singer, not a politician, but she's founded this website and joins us now. Nevena, good afternoon to you. Hi, hi, and uh, thank you for having me. I was your, glad to uh, well, thank you for joining us. It's been described, uh, this website, the Wives of Westminster, as taking a kind-spirited, open-minded, feel-good, nourishing, inside-and-out, service-centric approach to a meaningful life. What does that yeah. mean? What does that mean? Well, it means that I wanted to really to, you know, um, share my own experiences of life of politician, but also learn about uh, what it means to be really the wife for politician in the 21st century and how is different, how that role is different uh, than like 1920s or 1950s. You know, we live in a different world today. And uh, by what I was experiencing, uh, I felt that, you know, there is uh, much more to, to share with the public than, than they, you know, they deserve kind of to know what, what's going on. So we deserve also, to know. Well, what is it, what is it that, that your husband's job, um, what is it that I need to know about what your husband's job uh, does to your life uh, in a way that you wouldn't well, need to know what my husband's job does yeah. to my life? Uh, the thing is, when you are a politician, when you vote for someone, uh, you want to know what's behind that politician. And what behind the politician is the family. As I said that in uh, BBC News, um, uh, News Night, sorry, uh, the family is behind. And we go through turbulence of, um, you know, uh, our husbands. I'm speaking our wife, but everyone, I mean, partners as well. But isn't that true? But isn't that people. true that we are all, in a sense, defined by our family, but we don't bring the detail of it into work every day? We are, but our uh, husbands are in the public eye. And, uh, well, so know, am I. If they need to, um, you know, deco uh, like uh, um, be transparent about everything they do, from the, you know, uh, spending spending uh, money on, you know, like, uh, I don't know how it's called, uh, when you spend money on, uh, uh, sorry, I lost the on, word. On, uh, on, pub on public spend. services and things, well, yeah. But yeah, spending yeah. everything, they probably, then public needs to know, you know, who is it really that they're voting because we are definitely part of their lives and that's, you know, it's normal, I think. And there is nothing new about it. It's always a part of political campaigns. The only problem I see here that, you know, um, people are putting uh, messages across which are uh, shaped by political themes and then they, there is this kind of uh, perfect picture of a wife in the kitchen, which I don't agree with. And, you know, I... That's why I actually uh, started this platform to, you know, explore uh, and to, to like, uh, send a message maybe that, you know, the wife uh, is, uh, yes, it's a part of identity, but they are, we are uh, entitled to our own opinions and, you know, our ways. And we are not the prop, as uh, Amber Roth called us. Uh, as uh, certainly, uh, I can speak in my own name. So, you know, I have my own profession, but as, a, as, a, as I said, as an opera singer, I live a different life than before I married a politician. And now I found myself in a different world. And, you know, and I'm noticing a lot of things and stereotypes. Uh, and, you know, that's what, what I want to start the conversation with the world, not really with the voters. But it's, it, I mean, with, with, with absolute respect to you, um, Nevena, because it, it's, it's great to talk to you about the website. It's great to have you on because of the conversation that we're having. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I've, I've spoken to your husband a number of times in interviews and I've obviously seen and heard him many times, perhaps especially over the last six months to a year. I, I, until, until you formed the website, neither you nor the wife or partner of anybody else that I interview entered my head. I, it was I did they, they, you never entered my head. So are, are you saying that I'm unusual in that sense that people do really want to know who the partner of a politician is? No, I, I think that the general public who is like let's say my husband voters, let's say if we are just speaking specifically, I'm sure that they want to know who the wife is behind the integration. Of course, okay. because well, we are part of that. that you know and. Uh, it's a free country. Britain is a free country. And I started the, you know, the website that I'm sharing my, my experience. And, you know, I'm speaking about issues that concerns me and what I see. And, you know, I'm speaking about uh, women empowerment and equality and uh, all sorts of things. Well, so I don't you... see any 
heard about it. Well, you've already said something there that I'm not sure your husband would entirely agree with, that Britain is a free country. He thinks it's a country that's lost its independence by being in the European Union. Well, uh, that's up to the voters who, you know, voted uh, to leave. And, you know, if they want to do that, uh, you know, 17.4 million people wanted to leave the European Union. Uh, I think it's a democratic choice. And, you know, that's, you know, up to the people who, it's a people's vote, you know, and uh, he's trying to deliver that message. What's the... the What's the, what's the best it, thing? Know, what my husband thinks, what my, sorry, what my husband thinks, it's, uh, you know, it's up to him. And okay. I think, you know, he didn't tell me, oh, yeah, start the website. Oh, don't I'm sure it. he didn't. No, I don't, I, and I don't think you'd allow that by the sounds of it either. No, but I, don't, I don't think so. I, I'm just curious to know what's the, what, what is the best thing and the worst thing about being the wife of a politician in 21st century Britain? To be honest, I, uh, I'm, uh, I also... Um, uh, put the questions out there to get the answers and uh, since I started this platform the answers that I'm getting so f- not so far but uh, you know that were really loud the uh, answers that I'm getting that are coming my way uh, especially from MPs female MPs and you know uh, people who are uh, holding the public office yeah. is that the wife uh, is not important the, the opinion of the wife is not important that uh, you know um uh, that I'm everything from bizarre to uh, shallow and so on for uh, sharing my own experience, you know. So I think if I'm so not important, I don't know why people get so upset. I mean, and it's, you know, it's no, but what women do you, who are I'm, holding the public office. I, I understand. Sorry, but, women, but I'm asking you. The women who are holding what? the public office uh, are speaking about wives and women so look, look, look down on, uh, uh, on them. So what message, really, do you send to the equality and to the woman well, empowerment? Yeah. I, I, don't right? think, I don't think it's I looking think down on true. people to think that they... they, they I, I certainly wouldn't look down on you, but I'm not sure what relevance you have to what an MP does simply because you're married to him. But my question was, re- was really just, if, if you're still able to answer it, what, what, what do you like or dislike about being the wife of, of a politician? Well, I, first of all, I don't dislike to be called a prop, for example, or like or being shushed at the dinner table by the senior politician expressing my views on Brexit and free movement as an artist, you know, mm. uh, that's all the factors. Or I don't like, you know, being judged just because I'm married to a politician. So I do have my voice, as I said, and that's what I'm trying to share here. OK, you know. well, no, thank and you, and thank you for sharing it. Thank you yeah. for sharing it with us. I'll leave it there. There's a bit of an interference on the line, but thank you. Uh,